I'm slightly perplexed about Brexit and about the current threat of strikes in the NHS. Surely the whole idea of the Brexit proposal championed by Boris on his bus was that we'd be giving more money to the NHS. So how is it possible that Steve Barclay is refusing to discuss pay? Surely Steve Barclay was one of the champion Brexiteers. Surely he was one of the people who said more money for the NHS and yet he's not prepared to discuss it. Where is this more money? Where is his promise? Because it all seems like a sort of, well, to quote Mary Poppins, pie crust promise. Easily made, easily broken. And that's not honest. That's dishonest. Now, personally, uh, I'm, I'm very reliant on the NHS. I'm very reliant on uh, proper care. And it's, it, it is extraordinary. It is extraordinary that that is now in danger. It's extraordinary that today we're starting on a train strike. I mean, would we have trains today anyway, given the amount of snow we've had? Uh, the, the trains might be all over the place in any case. But now they're all over the place because the ministers in government are failing to reach an agreement. And yet that is why we have Brexit. It's nonsensical. We can't keep blaming other things for a problem that we've made ourselves. So again, once again, I say, you know, where is the Brexit opportunity? Because the NHS hasn't seen it. Because the train companies haven't seen it. Or the train workers haven't seen it. Where is this Brexit bonus, Boris? Let's have a little bit of alliteration. I'm off to rehearsals. <laughs> it's very cold. <laughs>